If you're an online advertiser and you do any type of marketing online, you're probably like me and you have a giant swipe file of all of your favorite ads and emails, right? Uh, and I actually wanna give you a free tool. It's gonna be in the link below this video. It's a bookmarker. So like, let's say I, I see this YouTube ad for um, Tube Karma and I really like it. I can actually just click bookmark ad, boom. And this will bookmark my YouTube ads and I can see all my bookmarks all my ad history here. But, um, you know, it's just one thing that you can check out. It's gonna be for free below this video. But what I really wanna show you today is our massive YouTube ad swipe file called Video Ad Vault. Now, this is a collection of over 1 million unique YouTube ads and landing pages, and it goes deep. So I'm gonna give you a rundown of that software today. Uh, the link, you know, if you wanna sign up for this, it's gonna be below this video in the description as well. Uh, it's just called Video Ad Vault. You can also check out Video advault.com and it's one of the tools from TubeSift. So uh, over here you can browse ads. This is going to show you like all of the most recent ads in here. Uh, you can sort these by you know number of views, likes, what uh, when it was seen, when it was published. Uh, but there's some really cool stuff you can do in here. You can actually uh, like here's a real estate investing one, right? 3,000 views, whatever. I can click this plus button and I can see a bunch of stuff like Number one, all of the split test landing pages that these guys are running. I can see where it's been seen, uh, video description. I can find more ads from this channel, more ads linking to that domain, and a whole lot more. Now the browse ads feature is cool, but the search ads feature is where this gets awesome, right? So you can literally search by title, description, channel name, domain, URL, channel ID, and we have, um, you know, this channel ID covers channel handles and all that as well. So you can throw in any channel handle, you name it, you can find the ads. So let me just give you a rundown of this. Let's say, um, and we have this additional search features here, but let's say, for example, we want to find webinarjam.com. This is the one I like to do. Uh, this will help us find automated webinars, right? So we just do webinarjam.com and we do a search. Now this is going to find all of the ads that are running to automated webinars, which is really cool. And we can... Uh, you know, I want ads that are also shown in the US, um, not exclusively, but I can do exclusively if I'd like, so I can do a search there, and boom. Now here are all the ads that are running in the US linking to automated webinars using Webinar Jam. And that's just like one specific use case here. We can click this, you can, you know, 26 million views, 13 million views. Um, we can actually play the video. There's ad. a huge government scandal going on that I need your help with. You can see exactly what hooks they're using, exactly what's going on in their ad copy and everything. And then the cool thing is you can check out where they are pushing traffic to. What is their whole funnel? You can really dig into this and uh, you know go through their webinar, check all that stuff out. And again, this is just for webinars, right? We can also click this plus button right here and we can find more ads from this channel. We can see exactly what ads Bob Diamond is running and we can find his best ads right here. Um, and obviously there's a lot of them. These are all Bob Diamond ads and we can see which ones work, which ones didn't. Um, I like to sort them by, you know, when they were last seen, see, you know, because some of them might not have a ton of views yet, but they were just rolled out. Um, these have actually been going for quite some time now, 1.2 million views. So you can really see what's going on there. Uh, and then we can even dig deeper and we can find more ads linking to taxsalesattorney.com, for example, uh, because, you know, sometimes people are running multiple YouTube channels. Um, this guy's not, but that's just like one quick rundown example right there. You can see average number of views per day, the uh, spend trend, all that good stuff, right? Um, and then we can search by a lot more as well. Um, you know, you, you can just throw in a random keyword. For example, let's say we want to find an ad in the solar space. So let me just throw in uh, solar and let's say we want to find Texas, right? There we go, solar in Texas. So we do a quick search and boom, we now have all of the solar ads in Texas specifically, which is absolutely insane, right? Um, again, same thing, we can watch the video Master ad. Control Manufacturing Excellence presents. Of course, we are going to see an ad on an ad, but again, if you want, like let's say you really like this ad, you can use our bookmarking tool and bookmark it, right? So let's go ahead and... Uh, let this go. ASMR. If you're a homeowner in Texas and you're still paying... There you go, so you can see exactly what ads are running for solar in Texas, right? I like to check out their um, their landing page, right? And something that a lot of these people are doing is with lead gen is surveys, right? So they're pre-qualifying, collecting leads, selling them to solar companies, right? So pretty cool stuff there. Uh, you can see that. You can also check out, like I said, all of their split test landing pages. 
This is pretty cool. Um, you can literally see every single one. It looks like um, a lot of them, they, they all look the same. They're just different domains. So uh, obviously we'd have to dig in a little bit, but you can see all the different display domains, literally everything that you could want to see about these ads. Um, another really cool thing is if we like this, we can click this plus button. We can add this channel to a watched channel list. Now, what that watched channel list is gonna do, we can come over here to watch channels, and um, you can actually see, here's a bunch of these ones that I'm following, like uh, you know my buddy John Penberthy, for example. Good dude. So I can literally see every time he rolls out an ad, and check this out. Every time he rolls out an ad, I can have email alerts that are gonna email me and say, hey, John rolled out a new ad, check it out. So I can get those daily, weekly, um, either one of those, and I can have email alerts on or off. So I like uh, you know checking my emails and seeing what all those ads are. Really cool stuff. I've also got top channels in here. This is sortable by you know number of ads, like literally anything in here. You know by like V shred, I could say okay, cool. Let me let me check these guys out, uh, and it'll do a search for all of the V shred ads in here and I can see all of the ads that vshred is running. Now, uh, again, like I said, there, that's just channel ID, we could do domain, channel name, description. Uh, if I wanna find, you know, piano or guitar, right? Let's just go piano, it's pre-populated. Boom, type in piano. Here are all of the ads that have, and obviously this is like piano in here. I might type like learn to play piano, but here we go. Here's one about learning piano, learning to play piano. So I can click on this find more ads from this channel, boom. Find all of the ads in the music space, uh, specifically for pianos, but I can see what's working here and apply what I'm learning here to any specific niche, right? Very cool stuff, we have advanced exclude filters, so you know I don't wanna see Grammarly, YouTube, Uber Eats, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can sort them by number of views, max views, uh, minimum views. Duration, this is actually how you can find uh, YouTube shorts in here as well. So you can say, hey, uh, exclude videos that are longer than 60 seconds. Uh, I can you know, choose countries. Hey, if, if something was seen in Australia, I don't wanna see it, right? And I can exclude those. So I don't wanna mess with my filters there, but um, that's exactly how that works as well. You can sort by you know where it was seen, what specific countries it was seen in. Uh, you can say, hey, I want exclusively in the United States. So ads that are only seen in the United States, boom, we can find those and then it'll exclude ones that have been seen in the UK as well, for example. Um, you can sort by most recently seen, most recently published, most views, most likes, and anything else that you would like as well. Uh, and again, we also, or I didn't talk about this yet, but we have a saved ads list as well. So let's say I'm looking for, um, you know, I like literally anything. I, I really like this ad with, you know, play with Johnny. I can click on this. Uh, maybe I like these four ads. I can add these to a list, make something like piano, and I can just add those and boom. Now they are over in my saved ads list and I can reference those whenever I would like. I click in there, boom, there's my four ads. Uh, so you can basically do research buckets, if you will, and um, do some pretty cool stuff right there. So I'm gonna delete that because I don't want Boom. All right, um, again, we have that TubeSip bookmarker. I'm gonna give you that for free uh, in the description of this video. We also have a ton of training and tutorials in here, you know, how to use this the best way. Uh, and then we added this advanced training in here. This is all about, you know, determining what ads to search for, um, breaking down the top ads, how we take the ads that we've found and break those down, and then how to apply that to your marketing so that you can become better at scripting these ads, right? So there's tons of really cool stuff there. Um, like I said, my favorite feature is the search ads, obviously, um, but the browse ads is cool. You can you know, do any country when it was seen, um, like literally whatever you'd like. Uh, and there's tons, and here's a Zapier ad right here. Um, I use Zapier, love Zapier, great. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you, you can flip through these and you can see all kinds of good stuff as far as what's working, what's not working, and literally, um, you know, search through our database of, at the time of me shooting this, which is beginning of February, we have over 1 million unique YouTube ads and landing pages. So you get access to our massive searchable swipe file with Video Ad Vault. Um, you also get all the bonuses such as the advanced training, um, the free bookmarker, which I'm just gonna give you anyway. And uh, yeah, that is exactly how Video Ad Vault works. One additional thing we added, so let's say I wanna find amazon.com and I want to modify that with um, 
you know, so let's go beach. Any any beach products on Amazon? Let's see if this does anything. Um, there we go. Now these are all linking. I was lucky because I, I, I don't know. So these are all ads that are linking to Amazon.com at some point. Obviously, this is. Uh, this is, it was linking to Amazon at some point. They were pushing them to Amazon also, but now it's also going to chipsnips.com. Um, so you can see that, and this is literally anything that has to do with the beach that is linking to Amazon. So some cool e-commerce things you can do in there, um, you know, with just Amazon. Uh, you can do lead gen. This is something that I really like to do. Uh, I show my clients how to do. We go uh, top channels, and then I like to go channels with recently or with first ads seen recently, right? And then I'll turn that to the United States, and boom, here are a bunch of ads or channels that just rolled out their first YouTube ad. If you are doing any sort of lead gen for your agency, or maybe you offer this as a service, boom, you can see exactly what ads these people are running, check it out, give them good feedback on, uh, you know, I don't know what this is, um, Godzilla, this is really weird, this is this is a very strange ad, um, they're, I don't even know what they're doing, um, anyway, <laughs> there you go, um, they probably definitely need help with their advertising, but um, you might not want to do that, maybe we hit up Dom the hypnotist, right? And we can run with that, reach out to this guy, um, see what his you know confidence secret that he shared, 1800 views. This has been out for you know about a, I don't know, 11 days at the time of me doing this. You could check out his ad, see his landing page. Um, and you know he could probably use a little bit of marketing help, right? It's click funnels, cool, whatever. But um, but yeah, that's that's probably a good route right there. Uh, to find people who could use your help. You can add that to a watch channel if you want. You can even visit the channel and uh, you know you can see, okay, it doesn't have any content. Um, we could probably reach out to him via about or not, uh, but we'd probably have to go to his website and reach out to him though. So uh, that's how we're doing lead gen with this software as well. And again, that's just one really quick uh, example for you. But um, you, know, you, you can search our massive database of all of these ads for a low monthly fee. And like I said, we've got a ton of bonuses for you as well. So the link to Video Ad Vault is below this. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on um, the basics of the software. And that is it for me on this one. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to having you as a Video Ad Vault member. Bye for now.